Welcome again to another Curator's Chat. I'm Jason French, Curator of Collections at the Behringer Crawford Museum. Today we're once again here in our collections facility at the museum and I wanted to share with you a really interesting piece of machinery. This is an Edison cylinder player. Now, after Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone and found a way to kind of reproduce sound through electronics over wire, you could hear sound in different locations, but you, there was no way to record it. So Thomas Edison came up with a way to record sound so that you could play it in different locations. The first rendition of recorded sound was recorded on a wax cylinder like this. This is an Edison gramophone cylinder player. This one is probably turn of the 20th century. The interesting thing about wax cylinders and, and say v vinyl albums or 78s and records is they existed simultaneously. I'll play this for you if we can get it going today. Um, and I think I'm going to play something I don't know what is on it because the cylinder itself says that it was a blank. One of the wonderful things about the old uh, Edison cylinder players and these wax cylinders is frequently you could record on them too, much like a cassette. Um, now, you load the cylinder on, it actually only goes on one way. Then you crank it. I've pre-cranked this a little. And the wonderful thing, I wanted to tell you a little story about our cylinder player. When we had this in our collections and we, we came across it, I couldn't find the crank. Well, we have a tremendous volunteer here that is a bit of a, a machinist and uh, just he can fix anything. And Roger took it upon himself. He loved this machine. He wanted to make a new crank for this machine. And he reproduced for us a crank for this cylinder player. Um, now, with all old records and cylinder players, there's the piece here that actually reproduces the sound through vibration. These are wax, so it needed to be a slightly different uh, needle. The old steel needles that we're more familiar with on 78s uh, is, is not something you use on this because it would actually destroy the cylinder. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn, well, let me get the clockwork working. It's interesting to know how the music recording industry has changed, and this is really the birth of it, these cylinder players. And they are wonderful things. They um, really help us tell a story of innovation and engineering. And, you know, of course, Thomas Edison was always involved in that. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Curator's Chat.